everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We do have my WWE Super Showdown 2020 predictions. Obviously, this show is coming up in two days. We got this live event, Super Saudi Showdown, Sabbath, 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 it's, uh... We got this Saudi show going down on Thursday, guys, and it should be an interesting event. You know, I usually don't really care for the Saudi events. You know, I'm, I'm really not big on them and everything like that. But, you know, I'm not expecting anything crazy. I am going to review this show for you guys so you guys can expect expect this on tomorrow afternoon. Is it tomorrow? Yeah, it's tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night. I don't know when the hell it is, Brad. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. The review will be posted shortly after the show is over, and you guys can definitely get in on that, but we do have seven matches going down. This thing is mostly going to, you know, probably just be a regular old live event. Probably nothing too crazy going down. Hopefully, we just get some good matches out of it. Maybe some, you know, cool moments, and it should be a fun little show. You know, you never know what to get out of these. They're, it's either going to be god-awful or pretty solid. So let's go ahead and dive in, guys. Seven matches to go. We're going to get through it. I'm excited for a couple of them. So let's go ahead and dive into Super Showdown 2020. So getting into our first matchup, guys, we do have the SmackDown champ. What the hell is... What? What? So getting into our first matchup, guys, we do have the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match between the New Day, Kofi Kingston, and Big E taking on Miz and John Morrison here in this matchup. And I think we could have us a good football game right here. Actually am looking forward to these two taking place here in this tag team matchup in Saudi Arabia here for the Tag Team Championships. I think this one's going to be okay. I think all four men are great workers. You know, The Miz, he has the ability to put on great matches, especially when you pair him with somebody here in this matchup like Morrison. Great athlete, great in-ring performer and you know the New Day always deliver in what they do you know they can't get a tad stale but uh, I think they always bring it they always bring it and they are very entertaining in the ring and as a duo right here with Kofi and Big E so I think we are going to get a solid little football game out of them I honestly kind of think that the New Day are going to lose the championships here so I'm going to go with Miz and Morrison to pick up the win and take the Smackdown Tag Team Championships from the New Day and maybe give us a new little look with the Smackdown Tag Titles Next up, guys, we do have the other half of the Tag Team Championships. We have the Raw side of things with Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy taking on the Street Profits for their respective Tag Team Championships in Super Showdown. And I don't think this one's going to go to completion. If it does, I could see Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy winning due to disqualification or possibly Kevin. I, I really don't see this happening, but there is a way maybe Kevin Owens and the Viking Raiders come out, you know, and cost Rollins and Buddy Murphy and the Street Profits win the Raw Tag Team Championships. Maybe that could happen. I don't think that would happen, you know, but or we'll just have some big-ass brawl with the disqualification setting where the Viking Raiders and Kevin Owens run out, the AOP run out, and we just got a bunch of ish going down, and uh, the match just kind of gets thrown out there with everybody beating the hell out of each other. So I think that's probably what's going to take place most likely, but uh, I could even see Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy just taking this thing all the way to the finish and retaining their tag team championships, especially if you want to, you know, build them up some credibility, build them up, you know, another win in the in the WL column for them there. So that could definitely take place as well. But I think that this match has the potential to be a banger. Don't sleep on this match. This is definitely the sleeper on the card, but this one could be super fire if all these four men want to put on a show and they get some time. But ultimately, I'm going to go with Rollins and Buddy Murphy to retain their championships. Next up, guys, we have the six-man gauntlet match for the Tawait Trophy here in Saudi Arabia for Super Showdown between Bobby Trashley, Andrade Cien Almas, AJ Styles, R-Truth, Rusev, and Eric Rowan. Now, this is one of those crazy matches. You know, we had the Greatest Royal Rumble. We had that tag team turmoil match for the, you know, whatever, the, the tag team trophy. We had the Best Wrestler in the World trophy that one time. So, I mean, this is just another one of those gimmick matches where it really ultimately means nothing, but, you know, they're, they're trying to make something grand and big for the show, and they're trying to make you get get invested by this trophy here and while I think this match has some potential to be pretty good you know you get some good workers in here they want to put on a show they get some time they could do some things with this and I'm actually kind of looking forward to how these guys kind of interact I could see this going one of two ways possibly a third but um I think we could see Andrade win it I think we could see our truth win it just for you know shits and gigs and I could see AJ Styles winning it but um ultimately I don't know why I think our truth's gonna win I'm gonna go with our truth getting the win here sneaking away with a trophy and that become another part of his comedic gimmick where, you know, he walks around with a trophy and he cuts jokes and brags about it. And, you know, just, just real good comedic relief coming from this thing. But hopefully we get some good interactions. I've seen some great gauntlet matches in the past with WWE, so hopefully the trend continues here in this gauntlet match in Saudi Arabia for Super Showdown. But I'm going to go with R-Truth, man. He's going to take on this gold trophy, even though that's not even close. 
to what the actual trophy looks like. Next up, guys, we have the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship match between Bayley and Naomi, and hopefully we just get a good football game out of these two. I think that we will get a good matchup, too, or good, good workers right here in this ring. Obviously, a big deal for these ladies to get the chance to tie up for the championship in Saudi Arabia here for Super Showdown. I think this one should be pretty solid, man, but uh, I don't know why, but I feel like Bayley's going to keep this championship until WrestleMania. That's just the way it feels for me, so I am going to go with Bayley to retain, but hopefully we just get a good matchup between these two. I have miss Naomi in this position. I've missed Naomi. Naomi. I've missed Naomi being in this championship picture. I've missed her being around wrestling on TV and stuff like that. So I, uh, I I appreciate her being in this match. I think she's a good worker and I think that this matchup could be a real uh, a real show stealer if they play their cards right. But I am going to go with Bailey retaining simply because I think she will hold the championship until WrestleMania. My God, are we doing this one again, Brad? Are you serious? We're getting our 80th matchup between Roman Reigns and Trash Corbin right here in Saudi Arabia. Uh, I guess so, Brad. Let's go ahead and run it back. We got a steel cage match between the big dog Roman Reigns taking on Trash Corbin here in Saudi for this matchup. And uh, honestly, I think Roman Reigns wins here. Please, God, have Roman Reigns beat Trash Corbin once again so this feud can just die in a fire somewhere. I'm definitely sick of this matchup, and I am ready for this matchup to just 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 be over with man this feud has gone on way long enough no one cares for it anymore we're we're, we're over it man this should have been blown off at the rumble they had a good last man standing match or whatever the hell that was it was like false count anywhere i don't remember the damn stipulation just it's over with man roman reigns for the win maybe it'll be entertaining maybe it won't be but just in the feud already that that's good with me i'm going with the big dog over trash corbin Next up, guys, we have a WWE Championship match between the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar taking on Ricochet, and this one I am very excited about. God, I hope they give them time. I hope they give them a chance here in this matchup to tie up. Uh, I think it could be a really fun one, man. I really do think it's going to be a fun one, especially we've seen it in the past with guys like Balor, Styles, Rollins, Daniel Bryan, all with Brock Lesnar. These guys have the ability to make a great matchup. Hopefully, we get the high-flying, crazy, acrobatic style of Ricochet mixing with the power and the brute force of Brock Lesnar. You can pull a fucking banger out of these two and hopefully that's what we get here. I don't expect Ricochet to win the match but I do think that we can make him into a star, a bigger star than he already is here in this match. If they give him time, if they let him do their thing, get creative. I know Ricochet has some stuff in his brain. Brock has the ability to work whenever the hell he wants. He is a very entertaining guy in the ring so I think that this has the makings to be a potential match of the year. If they really played their cards right, I really think they could do it if they really wanted to but I am going to go with Brock Lesnar. I just hope that we don't get a squash. I just don't want to see Ricochet balled up like a piece of garbage and thrown in the trash. I really hope Brock does some work here for Ricochet. Sells for him pretty good and uh, puts on a great showing, but I know Ricochet is going to sell his ass off for Lesnar and it should be a fun one. Just give me a good freaking match. Even if it's 10 minutes, just make it a damn good 10 minutes, Brad. But I'm going to go with Brock Lesnar to retain the WWE Championship. And for our main event, guys, we have the Blue Universal Championship match between the Fiend Bray Wyatt taking on Goldberg for Super Showdown here. I think this will main event the show, and I am expecting just a car crash. I think that the Fiend's going to kick out of the jackhammer. I think the Fiend's going to kick out of the spear, maybe even a couple spears, maybe even a couple jackhammers, because uh, I, I just think that that's what's going to take place, you know. I've said it multiple times here on the channel, if you guys remember, you know, they have pretty much ruined the Fiend for me. I love Bray Wyatt, the character. I think Bray Wyatt's a fantastic talent. I think he should just pack up his shit and go to Hollywood because he's that damn good at what he does as far as an actor, as far as portraying a character goes. Man is untouchable. Dude is uh, freaking amazing. I love his character, especially the, the Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt is just my favorite. I think he's fantastic, dude, so I, I really just love that character. But The Fiend, as far as I'm concerned, they, they kind of ruined that at Hell in a Cell for me with the Seth Rollins 28 stomps and kickouts and the one counts and the, the shots to the head and the kickouts just really, really ruined The Fiend for me, man. I really can't look at him in the same light here. So uh, this thing's going to go one of two ways. I think that The Fiend's going to look super duper effing strong over the top so that the big dog can knock him off at Wrestlemania and he's going to destroy Goldberg. Or the complete opposite could happen. We could have Goldberg get absolutely, you know, just all up in his grill right there, destroy the Fiend, and us end up with a uh, new Universal Champion and we're going to have Goldberg versus Roman Reigns and then the Fiend can go do something else for Mania. I'm not sure. I, I really don't know what to call here. I really want to say that Goldberg is going to take the 
L to the Fiend to just put him over that much more so that Roman can get some glory at WrestleMania. I'd really like to see John Cena face the Fiend, but I don't think that's going to happen. You guys know on Friday, John Cena is returning to SmackDown there, and maybe you could set up a feud there if you wanted to. Maybe if Bray, you know, beats Goldberg, and then John Cena comes out, and he's like, I saw what he did, and then the Fiend attacks John Cena. Maybe we get a one-off at Chamber. I don't know, man, but I, I think the Fiend is going to destroy Goldberg, even though it'd be really just an, an epic. I, I would be totally shocked. I think everybody would be completely shocked if Goldberg were to destroy the Fiend. I know a lot of people would be super pissed, and I know a lot of people that would actually be kind of happy with it, but uh, I don't know, man. Let, let's just see what the hell happens. I'm going to go with the Fiend to retain the Universal Championship, but I would not be shocked if uh, old Oldberg over here just showed up and kicked some ass and left. So uh, that is it, guys. I'm going with the Fiend to defeat Goldberg and, and shock the world and sort of, you know, make it where, like, he kicks out of a bunch of stuff, makes him look unstoppable even more, and that's what I'm going with, guys. But that pretty much does it for my Super Showdown 2020 predictions. Broke down every match, went through it for you guys. I pre I'm pretty sure that about does it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy the Super Showdown 2020 predictions. Let me know your predictions down in the comment section below. Do you think it's obvious, or do you think it's honestly possible that Goldberg wins, or do you think The Fiend is a, you know, sure lock-in for Mania versus Roman Reigns? Let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my name, Toys. If you guys missed the announcement from the other day, Hell's Gate will probably be a week later than the 29th, given my son was just born, so I'm super freaking ecstatic. Hell yeah. But it will not be coming the 29th anymore because of my son, obviously. But that pretty much does it, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.